welcome back to my channel. So Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my videos. So let's get started. I use Pixlr to take out their background. And lastly, I use PicMonkey. So the first thing I do when I want to do a thumbnail is if I forget to pose for a thumbnail, I go into iMovie. So I'm going to be putting my laptop here. And I'm actually going to put my glasses because I am blind. There we go. That's way better. We're going to go to iMovie. So I'm going to be doing a thumbnail for my last YouTube video that I made, which was week in my life in quarantine. So basically what I do is like go through the video and see potential pictures I want. So for this one, I actually chose one that I was sitting down doing my work. I ended up using one of these. So basically, I'm going to take this part off because I do not want to have those black things like that old film part so I just choose like a part of the video let's say I want it there and then I just put add freeze frame save the image to my desktop and then I wait for it to load there we go so it should be in my desktop bring it to the photos to change the color I like to have pretty natural filters so I open my photos there it is so first I go to Chrome and then I put the little auto thing and then sometimes I think like my yellow is too orange or my skin tone is too pale so I will go in and adjust a little bit so then I do done and then I put this in there so I'm gonna open my uh, the thing I just screenshotted and then I put unlock and then I do this and basically I have to take out all of the background out because for me I don't really like this background since it's way too overexposed so I feel like having a different background is better but I usually like to go around my house and take pictures of backgrounds that I would want because I don't really want something from the internet because then again if people click on it I don't want them to be clickbaited so we're gonna start from here and then I just go around just keep going all around and I actually go more detailed right now I'm just doing it roughly this sometimes can take me hours because I do like it to be a little bit cleaner I'm just super picky when it comes to my thumbnails so once I have everything you just put delete and that will delete the background see how it's a little bit rough that's when I go in again and get closer and start molding it but since this is just an example I'm just gonna keep it like that this part I actually take it out there you go I'm just gonna be saving this image so I do file save and it has to be a PNG because PNG is basically no background so that's what we want and you just download it and then you could drag and drop to your desktop. So I actually need to go back to this, open image and find the image of the computer. And then I need to crop that too. So I just do polygon and I go in like that again i'm doing it really rough because i'm trying to hurry and show you guys okay and then i do command c file new image choose the full hd command v so here it is i just need to make it smaller and then i just take out that image you go to the website pickmonkey i would get this image I create new and then I have to blur this out so I use the wrinkle remover and also I did pay for pig monkey but I believe it's not that expensive here I just do all the way because it would take forever I just basically cover the whole entire picture once I cover the whole entire thing I go to smoothing and I go down I usually like to go like to 17 so i apply and then i go back 
and create a new image in black canvas. And for YouTube, the YouTube dimensions are usually 1280 by 720, so we want to have the correct size. Create, and then I bring in the picture that I previously had, and then you make it big. So then I bring that in, make it smaller, like that. Bring in the computer thing I made made it this way there we go and then right here you just double click this way yeah P apply crop now it looks like I'm looking at my computer and then for the text I like to use Arial bold italic uh, I sometimes use Beba's regular and then for the specific one I used in this one, Code Pro and then I just did the text so it was weak in I actually made it like curvy so the way you do that you basically go to effects and then there's a curved text option okay so how I did this my outline I set it as white because I like that like white border on it so I did four thickness 85 intensity and then I did a drop shadow of the same yellow and I did 45 degree angle 8 distance 100% scale 0 intensity and 0 fade 0 blur okay so for the next one it's just the same exact Thing, but instead of curving it this way I curved it this way because I thought it was more pleasing like that so I did 35% next what I did was this one I just typed it out and I used the aerial bold italic and then I did the shadow 45 degree angle 8 distance 100 scale 0 intensity 30 fade and 20 blur because I thought that the white text would blend in with the background so that is why I did a drop shadow so after that I want to add a outline to myself so I do outline and then there it goes so it's 7 thickness and 85 intensity and notice how it's only on one side of myself because like I said we brought in the extra piece of computer so that's why that is not outlined but obviously I do not want to put outline for everything or else it would just outline the whole thing and we do not want that we just want this outer part the outer part of the computer so that is why I had to use a rectangular shape for that part and then for the horizontal part I used another rectangle shape and then for the round part I used an oval so that is my total thumbnail that's how I do it um you can add any stars you want or anything you want so I hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up if you did like comment and subscribe and see you guys in the next one bye guys Mwah!